foundation, celebration, <laughs> illumination. <laughs> Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today. Um, for today's video, as I'm sure that you already saw in the title, the thumbnail, we are going to be looking at some new makeup. And these are items I've picked up over the course of probably the last two to three-ish weeks. And uh, we're just going to get into it. You know, first impression, talk, you know, texture, application, that sort of thing. And then for some of the areas like foundation and concealer that weren't new um, products for just this video, I am going to be going through and talking about ones that I've already talked about in previous videos, but that are still new. That way you guys can see them applied for another time. You know, we can talk a little bit more about them, if I've been wearing them, how I've been liking them, that sort of thing. If all of that sounds good to you, hang tight. We're going to be jumping into the video in just a second. But of course, before we do, I want to take a pause, let you guys know if you are new here. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. If you haven't done so yet, I would love it if you would subscribe before you leave. I put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They usually go up around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. So they're bright early morning uploads. And then on to the part of my video where I try desperately to encourage everyone watching this, if you have not done so yet to please go follow me on Instagram okay I absolutely love it over there it's where I hang out the most um, outside of YouTube of course like I'm, I'm here I do my videos and all of this but if you're looking for my day-to-day -day content me in real life what I do behind the scenes just anything like that on like regular content type realm that is over on Instagram as well as like I said you know my day-to-day -day, um, insta stories where you guys can come and hang out with me just kind of see what's going on if there's ever any updates or polls things I want to ask you guys video content ideas anything like that you will find it over over on Instagram. So if you're not following me there and you would just like a little bit more content outside of here, again, I would greatly appreciate it if you would go check it out. Anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. As you can tell, no transition needed, okay? I just went ahead, zoom the camera in because for today, we're doing things in a little bit of a different order. And we're gonna start off actually with brows because Benefit sent me over their new brow micro filling pen. And they sent it to me in the shade light brown, which is very, very light. Um, like it's, it's a lot lighter than I anticipated, but it, it does seem to have a little bit of a buildable texture because I have used this um, off of camera one time I don't think I've said that yet uh, but I did use it to just to kind of get a feel for the texture and how it applies and one of the things that I did notice is that it starts off which I already did like a little swatch right here it starts off very very light in pigmentation and you are able to get like these super nice little light wispy hairs but as you build on top of them they do get a little bit darker so you can kind of play around with it in that role one of the things that I read about this um, like in the little packet they sent over is that it's best if you you apply it with nothing underneath like no moisturizer no you know anything they don't they don't want there to be any product in this area and I guess that that's so that the the actual like pigment itself can really stick and adhere to your skin um, because this is supposed to be more of like a long wearing long lasting kind of product that just adheres really nicely but for today I'm gonna try doing this a little bit more my way if you will and I'm actually gonna go in at first with a little bit of brow gel just because I do have very like sparse hairs back here and then the hairs that I do have are blonde so I think it would be very behooving <laughs> for my nice like fluffy brow look if I could go through first and kind of identify the hairs that are there and make them look just a little bit more noticeable so I'm just gonna go in and fluff them up this is the benefit gimme brow um, this is in the shade 4.5 and I'm just gonna use it again very very lightly and with that brow gel on and applied which dare I say I think my brow growth little serum stuff I think it might be working hello I'm like who's on her way to 15 brow hairs this bitch and it looks so good <laughs> hi but anyways I'm gonna go in with the uh, the benefit micro filler here and I'm gonna take it uh, kind of how they recommend which is to take the tallest prong and start inward and then kind of fluff your way out but instead of doing it just as all three and kind of the flick motion I'm also going to alternate and use it as a single flick. So kind of, you know, three strokes. And then if I need just one single stroke, just taking the um, the first one and kind of flicking it in an upward direction just to make little individual strokes as well. And I'm going to be taking it here and just starting more so at the base, making sure that my, my line on the underside of my brow really matches up. And then lightly kind of flick it upward from there and then tilt it at a slight diagonal as I go down the little tail right there. Okay, so here's where I'm at so far with the brows and they're not done by any long shot because they're not quite even like through the tail and a couple of other areas. But what I'm noticing is that this is like the type of situation where I do need to apply like my base, my foundation, all of those things, and then kind of come back through and shape them out and make sure that they look even, which based on the consistency of this micro filling pen, which has more of like a, a very thin kind of like water stain, if you will, it has that like really, 
really, really light, watery, viscous type um, type consistency to it. Based on that, I do feel like to go back in with my foundation and all of that on, I will probably have to use my pencil. This is just the Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in 3.5. From here, what I'm gonna do, obviously I you know zoomed out the camera a little. We're gonna get into complexion. And for the first few items, I actually didn't have anything that was like super new. Um, just for this video, it's stuff that I've been playing with recently. And I thought I would just go through and give you guys a little bit of an update on a few items. First up, I'm gonna grab the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Primer. And this is a primer that I used last in testing Jessica Braun's favorite makeup, which if you didn't see it, I will link it up above here. Um, it's actually part of a series for those of you that are newer where I go through and I test out YouTubers favorite makeup. And to date, I have done, who have I done? I started with Samantha Ravindahl, I've done Kathleen Lights, and now I have also, you know, done Jessica Braun. All of the videos in that series, you guys have seemed to really enjoy. So be sure to let me know um, down below if you have like a YouTuber you would love to see or whoever your favorite is. But anyways, this primer is one that I have used for a long time. It's a very like soft, subtle kind of matte texture through the T-zone, but it's very, very soft consistency wise. And it applies like a dream. It's beautiful on the skin. And like I said, again, all of this was in that video. So if you watched it, I apologize for being just a little repetitive, but it is a beautiful, beautiful primer. Highly recommend checking it out. And then for foundation, we're going to be using the new IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation and Skincare. And I'm going to be using this in the shade Light Warm 21. You didn't see it. I did do a full first impressions and a wear test. I want to say it was 10 or 12 hours. Um, so you can see application, go through all the specs and all that information. I'll leave it linked up above. And then to apply this, I'm going to be using the Laura Lee Los Angeles L11. And I am so freaking excited. And for those of you that didn't see it over on Instagram, I actually put up an IGTV where I use the entire collection and I go through and you can just kind of see all the pieces, you know, just being used on like a normal full face of makeup. And for anyone that might not know, or if you didn't see that post, these brushes were sent to me um, in PR. I'm friends with Laura, so she uh, she sent them over so I could test them out. And they are so nice, you guys. I've used them several times. And this brush right here, it is so freaking soft. Oh my God. It's so packed. Like it's a nice amount of bristles in there. It's very, very full, but it gives you the most airbrush application and it's so quick. It's so easy. Oh my god, like I love this so much. In terms of the foundation, I have it on and I did build it up a little bit more over my cheek region just to kind of help balance out any redness that might be popping through. But for the most part with this foundation, it's a beautiful like medium coverage across the board. Um, lightly buildable, I would say, to a medium, high medium kind of coverage. But for the most part, it just looks beautiful on the skin. It sinks in really nicely. And I've actually done um, several like wears with this and I've talked about it over on Instagram, like in my Insta stories, just kind of popping it in the morning after it's applied showing you guys what it looks like on the skin, that whole thing. And for the most part, I've just been very, very impressed with the wear, the look, and how well it really does settle into the skin and look very, very smooth. And obviously after I've worn it more, I think at this point I've worn it probably eight to 10-ish times, but after I've worn it a little bit more and just, you know, really got my handle on this and compared it to some other foundations, I'll give you guys another update. But in terms of right now, like I think it's beautiful and it works really, really well with a lot of different, you know, primers, concealers, and powders. So it's a lot more versatile in that respect, which I like as well. Anyways, on from there, let's go ahead and talk concealer. And this is another one that I did do a full video on. This is the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser. And of course, I will link the video up here if you want to go through, you know, see first application, the wear, and really get a feel for what this looks like on its own. I actually just apply it all over the face so you get to see everything, the blend out, the consistency, just every aspect of it, I really try to show up close. So if you'd like to see all of that, go ahead and check out the video. But uh, for the purposes of today's video, I'm just going to take the shade WN01 and I'm going to use this obviously under the eyes and in the normal places and just get myself a nice coat of concealer. Similar to the foundation, I've also worn this um, this concealer, I want to say 8 to 10-ish times, so I've worn it a fair amount and I'm actually very, very impressed with the consistency of it, the wear of it, and the way that the concealer itself lends itself to more full coverage and to more natural days. It just has such a workable um, like a workable finish to it and it looks beautiful on my under eyes very very consistently blends in so nicely with other foundations I've just been really enjoying it like look at how even it looks on the under eyes it's gorgeous right, so really quickly I had to go ahead and zoom the camera back out um, just a freckle because I had this patch of Sun coming through like a laser beam and it was getting me right in the eyes making my eyes water getting them super sensitive and my eyes are already sensitive for those of you that might not know so I figured I would just take a second and get everything nice and blended um, which I just really 
realized I want to add a little bit of concealer around my nose because <laughs> your girl had a little bit of a sneezy situation yesterday and I made my like under area right here on my nose super duper red. So I just want to grab a little bit more concealer there. Just really quickly under the eyes and through the T-zone I'm taking a little bit of my Fenty powder. This is the loose powder in the shade Butter. I'm just getting this nice and coated, but I am going to leave the cheeks open because I have a cream product for that. And then also really quickly, I think I'll just go ahead and get the uh, the eyebrows handled too, give them a little bit more definition. And then actually while I'm doing this, this would be the perfect time um, to talk about the first thing I wanted to mention, which is actually from Octoly. I have two products in today's video that we're going to talk about, which for those of you that might not know, um, Octoly is like a place where creators or testers, you know, makeup testers, skincare, that sort of thing, um, we can go on there and request that products be sent to us for us to test out and it's only sent to us for that purpose we don't have to give it a good review bad review you know otherwise indifferent there's no stipulations other than they send it and we kind of give our thoughts but one of the products that I wanted to mention that was sent to me for review was from first aid beauty and this is their white clay acne treatment pads the reason that I picked up these pads and like I wanted to test them out was because as you guys know or if you're not familiar I do struggle a lot with acne I have hormonal acne cystic acne <laughs> the whole bit and I know it doesn't look like it right now because I've really, really been trying to clear up my skin and find products that work. That's, like I said, you know, part of the reason I wanted to test these out is just to see, you know, do they help with it? Do they not make a difference? What I would notice with these is that as I reach for them on a consistent basis, they do a very nice job of um, what I would say is like lessening the effect of that everyday or more average acne, which I really appreciate because, you know, I don't expect, especially something that's geared for more sensitive skin, I don't expect it to be like super aggressive and really get in there and then just like wipe out all my acne and you know take over the town like Godzilla with Tokyo you know I don't, I don't really expect that and I really appreciated that about these because I could see that they were taking it you know from what would be growing up to a 10 and like escalating it into full-blown acne and they were taking it every day that I would use them and just kind of dial it back and dial it back and you know we would start at a seven we would go to a five we would go to a four you know we would slowly kind of bring it back and it wasn't nearly as harsh or like stripping on my skin and I really really appreciated that but like I said is this something I would reach for for like super bad like hormonal acne or you know cystic acne that sort of thing probably not just because it doesn't have like the full-on um, like toughness that I would need for that but I also don't think that this is the type of product that's geared in that respect either you know what I mean like it's it's one of those things where I think it works well for what it's geared for and you know having that sensitivity element to it I actually do think it works really really nicely and dare I say that my brows even look like they could be fucking related like do you see them they're sisters bitch they're going to the beach together they're hanging out they're living their lives they might even share a dorm at college yes from there let's go ahead and move on to my next little guy here this is from Urban Decay and this is the Stay Naked face and lip tint which I have in the shade streak and it is a very bright like pink shade Ooh, the consistency is very very smooth <gasps> Ooh, it looks beautiful I'm just gonna take a little bit of this on my sponge and kind of tap it on this way here Ooh, I like that color a lot it's actually a lot um, like brighter than I thought it would be. Like I knew it would have a nice amount of pigmentation to it, obviously, but because it was more of a tint, I thought it would, you know, be a little bit more subtle on my skin. Ooh, that's actually really, really pretty though. And I like that you can build it. Like you have a lot of room to move with this. You know what I think is the most interesting, just kind of going into the next step here, is gonna be seeing how this looks with a powder over top of it, because it has such a beautiful creamy texture and such a bright color that I actually think it's gonna stand out really well. To test that theory, we're gonna go in with some powder. This is the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Foundation Celebration Foundation Celebration <laughs> Illumination. Um, this is their powder in the shade light and I'm gonna be taking some of this on my Scott Barnes 67 and just kind of pressing it over top of this area. I'm not gonna go through and swipe because obviously it will pull my foundation all over. So I'm just gonna go through and lightly kind of set and press everything in place. And then under the eyes and like through the T-zone, I'm actually gonna grab my Laura Lee Los Angeles L13 and I'm gonna grab that number seven um, illumination powder. What is this? The Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder. And I'm gonna take this in the shade light and run it under the eyes to dust away what's left over of that Fenty Bake and then also hopefully brighten up the under eyes a fair amount here. Okay, so really quickly, I may have made a little freckle of a mistake I don't know how well it'll show up on camera, but right through here on both sides I think I left that Fenty bake on just for like a skosh too long because it left a tiny 
teeny tiny bit of um, just a little line right there. It's really not that big of a deal. It'll go away, whether it's with this powder, another powder, some highlight, whatever. It'll, it'll be gone. And then for bronzer, I'm just grabbing a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade medium, the airbrush bronzer. And this is a bronzer I've been using a shit ton lately. I actually just talked about it in my month end favorites, which I will link up here if you missed it. And this bronzer was such a crazy one for me. I know I mentioned it in that video, but like I wore this every single day for probably two or three weeks and was absolutely like diehard obsessed with it. And it took me so long to notice that I kept reaching for it over and over again because I just love the way it looks and I was in such denial, but it's beautiful. Like it's just a beautiful bronzer. And I didn't truly like, I just didn't want to love it because it's $55. Okay. It's $55 damn dollars and I didn't want to love it, but I do because it's gorgeous. Okay. It's fucking, it's just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Okay, so just really quickly, if you're kind of looking at my face right now and it looks a little weird, I am getting hit with a lot of sun from this side of my face. So it looks a little bit washed out, like you can't see the bronzer or the blush. But I just want you guys to know, and I think you can definitely see it better over here, that the uh, the blush itself is actually coming through nice and strong underneath of that powder foundation. And it actually looks really, really beautiful. It's, it's holding up nicely underneath of that IT Cosmetics powder. Now, just because I want to emphasize the shade of that cream blush, because I love the way it looks, but I do want to add just a little bit more like on the top. I'm gonna grab my Lunar Beauty Moon Prism palette, which I also talked about in my month end favorites. And I'm just gonna mix together very, very lightly two shades. I have Twilight, which is more of like a corally pink right here. And then a little bit of Soleil, which is gonna give me that nice um, like vibrancy or lilt on the cheek because it is a shimmery blush, but it works in beautifully into the skin and it just has like a nice kind of natural like glisten. Right, so from here, before we go into eyes, I'm just gonna give my face a little spray. That's just the original Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. It is one of my absolute favorites, um, especially for this stage in the makeup where I can just go through and have everything pressed together. But from here, let's go ahead and start getting into the eyes, which I do have two different products for. I have, first up, the Wayne Goss Collection. This is his um, luxury eye palette. And I also have the three eyeliners that he released with it that we're gonna test out. But this is the little six pan palette he came out with literally one swipe. Look at that black. Oh my God. Those are the first three um, shades in the palette. Oh my God. You guys, those are freaking beautiful. And I do think I swatched these over on Instagram now that I think about it, but these shades, I don't know how well you can see it on here, but this is like a glittery topper kind of shade. Oh my God. It is absolutely beautiful. Holy cow. I also have another eyeshadow thing that I want to introduce. These are from Dominique Cosmetics, which like how beautiful is this presentation? Oh, it's so good. Um, this is her new collection of beautiful mess liquid eye paints that she released. One of them right here is out of the box because I did swatch these as well over on Instagram. And this is the first one that really intrigued me. This is in Electric Soul and it's a duochrome from like green to gold. And then the next one right here is the shade Pretty Wild, which I think you can see it a little bit better in the tube. It has more of a multi-chrome effect from like a copper to a green, but still super duper beautiful. Yeah, I feel like in the swatch right here, it's pulling just more so like a super vibrant orangey copper. It's still beautiful. And then the last shade right here is Cold Heart, which is more of just an icy blue. And those three shades make up like the more vibrant end of the collection. And on the other side of things, there are three more neutral shades right here, which I did obviously go ahead and swatch. There is a very vibrant purple, which is the shade Very Vixen. And then we have Daydreamer in the middle there, which is like a beautiful shimmery copper kind of color. And then the very last shade we have right here is the shade Shy Girl. And out of all the shades, this is the only one that has more of a matte texture to it. So when it dries down, it doesn't have like a, a shimmer, like a duochrome, anything like that. It's much more of just like a demure muted shade. Also really quickly, before we can get into <laughs> anything um, I related, oh my God, gotta wipe off that crusty, busty ass lip line. Blah, 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 driving me crazy. Oh my God. Actually, you know what? Why don't we play around with a little bit of this? This is from Huda Beauty and I picked this up and I didn't even think about it, but it's sitting there staring right at me. This is one of her lip balms in the shade Negligee and it's called a sparkly lip balm and it would kind of be perfect. It's got like some beautiful um, sparkle like on the lipstick itself. But let's go ahead and just apply a little bit of this like nourishing situation or hopefully a nourishing situation while we wait. Okay, so it looks a little goofy because it grabbed a little foundation and it's, it looks a little bit of like a milky kind of color. But in terms of the texture, 
It's actually not bad. It's really nice and soft, which I appreciate. Okay, all right, well, we'll wait. We'll see how it goes. So to get started, I'm just gonna prep my eyes with a little bit of that Clinique concealer, just so that way we have a nice, even kind of canvas to work with. To get started with the eye look, I'm actually gonna go in with the um, matte brown shade right here, and I'm gonna go in with my Laura Lee. This is the L18 brush, and I'm gonna start by taking, oh, wow. I'm gonna take some of this, guys. These are super duper rich. Definitely be mindful, but uh, I'm gonna take some of this and just pop it on oh wow okay on uh, the outer v here and really keep it concentrated that way i can kind of control the um, amount of color that we get and then lightly diffuse it inward the depth and the richness of the pigmentation in this one is so like even and it's so easy to blend out it's just gorgeous all right so i keep sitting here going back and forth with this but i really feel like i want to take this shade from dominique cosmetics this is the daydreamer shade and i want to take and put that like through this area like right in here back in the wayne goss palette i think on like the inner portion i want to go in with this beautiful shimmer and then this glittery shade just to like veil everything because I feel like it would just look <laughs> kind of so gorgeous and have like all the depth and dimension and because this had a fair amount of like pigmentation to it when I swatched it I am going to go through and be a little bit more mindful because I don't want to over apply it so I'm just going to go through and kind of apply a nice amount here and then go in with my finger and very lightly tap it out just so I don't have like any weird lines or anything actually you know what no I'm not I'm going to go in <laughs> with uh, this little Laura Lee brush this is the L19 because my finger definitely removed a little bit of the um of the gel itself so I think maybe it's it's not like a big fan of, of the whole fingerprint situation okay so on this side I'm going in with just a brush just to see if it applies a little bit better because on that side don't get me wrong like obviously it applied I, I screwed up right through here but it did it did apply and it blended but I want to see if it's a little bit easier with a brush and yeah it's definitely easier with a brush like the other side I had to really like play around and work with but just going in with little miss Laura's brush here and kind of using it to tap and blend I was able to use less product and get it done a lot faster now at this point I'm gonna go in with this beautiful light kind of pearlescent shimmer shade from the Wayne Goss palette And I'm just gonna pack that on to the inner portion of the eye and kind of use it to oh yes Like just open up the whole inner eye area right there because like I mentioned originally It wasn't exactly supposed to get quite so dark. So this will definitely help to kind of um, Veil over top and lighten up everything. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. Okay And I'm just finally gonna take that beautiful glittery shade and I'm gonna use that to kind of top Everything like all the way from the inner all the way out just to make sure everything is covered in like a beautiful Kind of glitter topper. No, no, I can't walk away from like a beautiful glittery moment. There's just no way in hell that's gonna happen. And oh my god, this color is gorgeous. Like it adds the most amazing little lilt to the eye. But because the color's super light and I'm not using a glitter glue, it just gives you like the most, I, I don't even know how to describe it, like a light, kind of like a bridally glitter, if you will. And it's just gorgeous. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. And then under the eyes, I am gonna go in with just a little bit of this kind of like terracotta orangey shimmer situation. This will just help to kind of break up the um, brown tones that we have on the upper part of the lid here. And then go in just on the very outer corner here just to connect with the upper lash line and take a little bit of the brown shade. And just like I said, very lightly kind of connect the upper and the lower. All right, so from here, I think I'm gonna move in to the Wayne Goss um, eyeliners that he released because he did release three different shades with this collection. There is a brown, a black, and then a black brown. And for today, I think I'm gonna go in with the black brown, which is this shade right here. It is the shade Rich Hazel. And I'm gonna take this and, you know, I think I actually want to do the upper like lash line right here and the water line on the upper and lower just to make sure everything is like nice and blended in. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of pencil line right up in this area here. Isn't it insane the way that an eyeliner, just like a tiny little bit all the way around the eye can just change an entire eye look so drastically? Like look at how much more deep and sultry this eye looks versus this eye that has no liner. Like isn't that just crazy? I just, guys, I love dark liners. Oh my God, I always have. All right, so I just spent the last few minutes off of camera in complete total <laughs> dead silence sitting here really focusing because I wanted to do something a little bit different with this eye look. And so I went in and added just a tiny 
little wing with just this liner and the Sigma E65. And I have to say, after working with this liner, you know, both along the lash line, just kind of smudging it in and using it with this, I'm actually very impressed with the consistency of this because it has like a smoothness to it that's really nice and it does move around with a brush. But at the same time, it has like a nice stiff quality to it that makes me think it's going to perform nicely in the waterline. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of like loving a multiple aspects of this so far. Obviously, I'll keep you guys posted, but thus far, I really like it and I love how the eyes turned out. Right, now, from here, taking a little break from the eyes, I want to play around with another new product. This is from Hourglass and this is their new Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. And I've heard, you know, good and bad with this, but the one thing a lot of people aren't loving is that um, it does have a fair amount of glow to it. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but essentially, this is kind of like a finishing powder with a serious luminosity built in. For me, I've been using this a few times off of camera and what I've been really enjoying doing with it is using it as a finishing powder but just keeping it more so to the high points of my face so like I love to take it right through here and just kind of you know lilt out that area with a little extra glow you can definitely tell like I don't have any highlight on and there is a very noticeable sheen happening over both of my um like highlighty cheeky regions so I do think that if you pick up this powder like just be mindful of that but it's definitely a very beautiful powder I really like the consistency it's very in line with what a normal like hourglass consistency is very thin very nice you know finishing powder-esque and then just to go over top of that and add some more highlight I'm gonna grab my L13 this is also from Laura Lee and I'm gonna go in with this Chantecaille duo right here this is the radiance chic cheek and highlight duo and in, it's in the shade rose and I'm gonna take this one right here again just the highlight shade I'm gonna take this use it to add a little bit more pop oh god so beautiful by the way for anybody that missed it I did do a full video testing out Chantecaille makeup which I will link up here. I don't care, honey. Even if it is a more natural glow, bitch, you know I'm about ready to get that chalupa all up on my chin. Oh, yes. You see that? Hashtag chalupa chin. <gasps> you see that glow? It's like subtle. It's there. It's living. It's so good. Oh, yes. Give me all the grease. All that good chalupa grease. Even if she is elevated chalupa grease, bitch, we don't care, okay? We do not care. All right. So from there, before we go in with mascara, I'm just going to spray my face down. This is the ABH Dewy Set Setting Spray. All right, you guys. So we're officially to mascara, and I am so excited because this is another product I was able to get through Octoly. Um, this is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara, and you guys, when they sent this over, I literally, I literally squealed with joy. The formula of this is so nice. It's so buildable, and what I really enjoy about it is it gives you like this almost kind of like feathery, buildable, like you're wearing falsies but not kind of look, and this is a mascara that doesn't just give you volume or length. It does a really nice job at giving you both, and what I really enjoy about it more so than anything is the way that it does that, but while at the same time, I'm giving you that nice individualized look on your lashes. With this mascara though, there is one con and it's the only, like I can't quite figure out where it's coming from and it's the only issue that I have with it and that is that sometimes I do get like a light amount of like flaking or like black, um, yeah, just like black flaking I guess you could say where like the little crumbles up here kind of come down and it's not something that happens every time I wear it. It's not super bad. It's not like egregious, you know, like all day I notice just like black little snowflakes falling from my eyelid. It is something that I wanted to mention just because obviously it is within the scope of the review and just something that I've noticed while I've been wearing it. And if you're really curious about this and what I'm talking about application and you'd like to see like a super duper up close, I actually did a video testing this out when I first got it over on my IGTV. It's like a little video and it's a really cute little video. It's maybe like maybe 40 seconds. Like it's not very long, but it does show you super up close what the lashes look like, the fullness and just kind of all the things texturally that you could be looking for with this mascara. And I'm not trying to brag or nothing, but like the highlight of my life, that video I'm talking about, <laughs> Little Miss Mama McGrath saw it okay the queen mama queen mcgrath saw my video she liked it and she commented on it and i literally uh, just about died <laughs> like passed out died dead because i was so excited so you know just you know if you want to see something that is on par with the queen you should definitely go check it out because it's, it's the highlight of my life the highlight of my existence all right but anyways from here let's go ahead and do the final step which is lips and for that i picked up <laughs> i picked up this becca hydro light plumping lip balm and i picked up a lip balm back when this look was gonna be like at least in my head it was gonna be a lot more calm. I was going to have like just a nice light neutral lid and then well and then this happened and now I have this balm as my new ingredient. So let's go ahead and see how it looks and you know kind of we can kind of play around from there. This is a very very light sheer amount of color. I have this in the shade Tide and it's kind of like a light pinky brown type shade but it's definitely not something that has a lot of pigmentation which I really was kind of hoping I would have. So <laughs> let's go ahead and maybe 
let's maybe, maybe let's try something else. Oh my God, you guys, you guys, you guys, you know what we can use instead? I can't believe I almost just totally overlooked this. Um, I got um, an amazing, amazing PR package. I've actually gotten two of them now from House of Siage, and they sent me over this freaking lipstick container. By the way, let's just talk about it. House of Siage, your packaging, your presentation. Do you see? Like, this is a whole moment, right? Like, I'm not the only one that sees this. It is beautiful. It has little Swartzky crystals all through it. It is freaking gorgeous, okay? I am absolutely obsessed. They sent me this one, which is from, like, their new Whisper Garden. Wait, hold on. I've got the thing right here. So it's from their Whispers in the Garden bow tie collection. These are all the different colors that they have. And, oh, my word. This one is in Whispers of Strength, the hope and strength for empowerment, which, y'all, <laughs> with the last couple of months that I have had, oh, my God, I desperately need some damn empowerment in my life. But I thought it would be cool to actually put one of the lipsticks. They sent me over three different shades as well. I have Prince, Baron, and Queen. And I remember, I think it was Prince that was more just like a mid-toned pinky shade. All right, so the color is gorgeous, but that's definitely too pink for today. It's way more like Barbie pink-esque. You know what? This one might work. This is from the first PR package they sent me. It has a little bit of like a peachy kind of undertone, but I think that could work. This is in the shade S07 Night. I'm just gonna go ahead and actually pop the cute little guy here right into the little lipstick. It clicks right in and then boom like look at how cute <laughs> oh, look at how cute this is oh my god you guys i can't stand it okay let's go ahead and apply oh and this is actually really comfortable to hold damn i just i feel so important okay let's go ahead and put on our lipstick ladies are you ready me and my little crystals my swartzky crystals we are in this to win this okay let's do it okay <laughs> everybody's like Paige, shut up and apply the lipstick oh i can't texture wise it is a super duper creamy formula like, it feels really nice on the lips. It has a very, like, smooth consistency to it. I would say in terms of the finish, it does lean a little bit more, like, satin-leaning matte. Like, I can feel a little bit of a dry down, but it's still super comfortable. It still moves around. Mmm. That feels so nice, guys. It's very, very... Oh, God. Just so creamy. But at this point, I don't have any issues with, like, the texture, the, the, like, the way it feels, nothing like that. But the color is just a freckle to pink for this look. It just needs to be dialed back a little bit. So I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of this Maybelline Lifter Gloss here. I tested this out in, I want to say, like, testing new drugstore makeup. I'll link it up here. But uh, this is in the shade 101 Crystal. And it's just more of, like, a glittery nude and then I think it'll just add a touch of brown to it, which is really what it needs. It'll just dial back the pink a little bit. And all right, you guys, with that, the full face is done and complete. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this outro really does kind of breeze through. We're just gonna touch on a couple of things because I know this video is super duper long. So let's go ahead and start off, of course, with the up close. That way you guys can see how everything turned out. I really want you guys to get a good shot of the skin, the complexion, eyes, the mascara, the whole bit. Now, in terms of the products, just as like a brief kind of, you know, overview, I really like the majority of what I tested. I am still going to have to play around a little bit with that Benefit micro filling pen because I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with it and it could just be my brows. It could just be like a me situation. I'm not really sure, but I am having a hard time really getting like that precise application with all three of them. Um, I noticed for me, it works better when I turn it and just use like the one side to get that little flick motion. But in terms of like the three of them give, giving me like the full on fluffy brow, I'm still kind of playing around with that so I'll definitely have to keep you guys updated don't get me wrong I think my brows look good but like I do kind of balance that with the fact that I did go back in I did use a pencil and in the end like which one would I you know prefer to use the precisely my brow or this one and right now I'm not really swayed away from like my normal precisely my brow like this is this has kind of been my jam my bitch my life right here so I'll definitely have to play around with the other one more but for me that was kind of the one product today that really stands out in terms of like eh, like is it good is it not? Because, I mean, as far as everything else goes, I really enjoyed the rest of the products. I loved everything from Wayne Goss. I think his collection is so beautiful. I had a really good time, too, with, like, the Dominique Cosmetics. That was super fun. The Urban Decay Little Cream Blush. Um, the lip from House of Siage, this beautiful packaging component. All of this is really nice. So, for me, overall, I would say, you know, today was definitely a win in terms of products and application. But there's a few formulas in here that I do want to get to know a little bit better before I rule on them completely. So, I guess, for me, that wraps up my thoughts. You know, a lot of these were for 
first impressions. Some of them were a little bit of a light update. Either way, I would love to hear from you guys down below. Is this the type of video you like where, you know, I kind of piece in, I do a little bit of an update, a little bit of new product, and we kind of talk through a lot. Like, it's obviously a longer video, but there's a lot more information. Just, I don't know, I'm trying to, like, you know, find new, new videos, new ways to kind of present stuff to you guys, and I want to hear from you guys down below. You know, is this a video you like? Would you love to see more? Give me all of your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Of course, like I said at the beginning, don't forget to subscribe, turn your post notifications, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, but mainly Instagram, okay, because I need you to follow me on Instagram. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! What is it I see? I see a little bit. I see just a little itty bitty bit of that mascara flicky bitch. That mascara flicky bitch shit damn that we were talking about earlier. Okay, I see it. I see it. It's there. It's living and I don't like it. <gasps> Go away, but the mascara is gorgeous. Ooh. Just giving you an update on certain foundations, concealers, you know, that sort of thing. Um, that way we can kind of kill two birds with one stone. Okay. We are going to be tooking. We are going to be tooking. We are going to be tooking. And then for bronzer really quickly, I'm just going in with some of my, um, shard. No, okay. And then my shard. <laughs> I'm just going in with some of my shard to bronze up my face.